Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Evolve video. In this video, I want to talk about the different Hunter classes in Evolve and the roles they play in the 4v1 battle. I'm also going to do a separate video and I'll put that up this weekend, which will detail the two different monster classes and the roles that they play during the game as well. So if you want to see more from the Kraken or the Goliath, tune back in on Sunday. So let's talk Hunters. First up, there are four distinct classes, Assault, Trapper, Support and Medic. Within each of these classes you can pick from a range of different characters, each of whom have their own unique abilities but their fundamental role in the team will still remain the same and they also share the same core class ability. Right now we've seen two variations of each class but there are going to be more around launch in addition to the yet announced third and final monster. First up let's talk Assault. This class is pretty self explanatory, they are the damage dealers, their role is to inflict as much damage as possible on the monster using a range of different weapons. Currently you can choose from between two different assault characters, Markov and Hyde. Markov has a lightning gun for close range damage, an assault rifle for mid to long range engagements, a set of arc mines which allow him to inflict large damage to the monsters if they trigger them in turn revealing their location on the map, and lastly the class ability the personal shield which prevents you from taking damage for a brief period of time. This class ability allows you to take a somewhat tank role in the team as well, which means you should not only be dealing the most damage but also attracting the monsters attention where possible. Hyde on the other hand has a minigun for long range engagements, a flamethrower for up close and personal fights, a set of toxic grenades which create a poison cloud inflicting damage over time to any monster caught in the cloud, and again the personal shield. Next up you have your trapper class, and in some ways I consider this to be the most important class as a good trapper can help end the fight that much sooner. The trapper's role is to slow down and, yes that's right, trap the monster, in turn allowing the other hunters to catch up and inflict the necessary damage on them. The two trappers are Maggie and Griffin. Maggie has a machine pistol as her default damage dealing weapon, a harpoon mine launcher which deals large damage to the monsters and prevents them from escaping, deal extra damage and escape from danger. she has a pet trap jaw named Daisy who acts like a bloodhound and helps track the monster, and lastly the trapper's class ability, the mobile arena. This deploys what I like to call a reverse bubble shield, a dome like field that prevents anything from getting outside and in turn allows you to fight the monster in a tight enclosed arena. Griffin on the other hand has a harpoon gun, allowing him to tether himself to the monster in turn slowing down its escape, sound spikes which detect the monster's movement allowing the player to better track the monster, the and a submachine gun for mid to long range damage dealing, and again obviously the mobile arena. Then you have your support class, the role of this class is to protect the team from the monster. The two support hunters are Hank and Bucket. Hank has a shield gun which allows him to target one of his teammates to provide them with temporary invincibility, a laser cutter which is an extremely strong offensive weapon that shoots a blast of laser energy at the enemy, an orbital barrage which is a large AoE or area of effect move that summons a large missile strike to the area inflicting massive damage when it lands, and lastly the support class ability, the cloaking field which allows you to render yourself and other nearby hunters invisible. Bucket on the other hand has a flying surveillance or UAV where he removes his robotic head and turns it into a flying camera allowing you to track the monster remotely. He is however immobile and defenseless when doing this so you don't want to do this during the heat of battle. He also has a laser guided missile launcher for high damage, flying sentry guns which are a series of AI controlled bots that attack the monster and other enemies, and again the cloaking field. Then lastly you have the medic class, whose role is to keep the team alive, heal them and revive them when they go down. The two medics are Val and Lazarus. Val has a silver or med gun which allows her to heal teammates from a distance and revive down players, which is really handy, and an anti-material rifle which is like a sniper rifle for dealing damage from long range, only the unique thing about this is that it allows her to create weak spots on the monster. When she shoots the spot is highlighted and if your team focuses fire on that area they do increase damage. She also has a tranquilizer rifle to help slow down the monster and briefly reveal its location on the map, and the class ability healing burst which gives all teammates in the area an immediate health boost. If the medic falls in battle, the team is sure to follow. Stay alive, medic. Lastly, you have Lazarus who has a silent sniper rifle which has low damage, but its silence nature means it's hard for the monsters to locate him. A cloaking device allowing him to stay hidden from the monsters. The Lazarus device which is his signature, also a legal tool which allows him to revive down hunters. And lastly the healing burst again. And there you have it, that is your breakdown of all four classes and the variations currently available within said classes. It's worth noting that while you can mix and match the hunters as you please, you do still need to maintain the team dynamic, so you will still need one of each class. 
Drop a comment down below and let me know which class you most want to play as and which character from that class is your favourite right now. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit the like button and show your support. That does really help me out and obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.